Hey YouTube, hello MGTOW and the brand new tube. Now, we'd like to hear something that made me say the N word. Now, my little sister has a friend. We're going to call her D, you know? We're going to call her Miss D. <laughs> now, Miss D, here's a little backstory on Miss D. Miss D was my little sister's friend, is my little sister's friend for when we first moved in the area, in and around the area. Miss D and little and my little sister are roughly around the same age. Go to the same school. Or with the walk within the walking distance of each other. We used to like, take them take them to Kennywood, take them wherever we're going. But Miss D has a little problem. Now, Miss D accepted a friend request from some some dude in North Carolina. Miss D lives in or around the in or around the southwestern Pennsylvania area. With my little sister around my little sister and my older sister and her and her boyfriend. Which basically two sides of the spectrum. Now there's a they, they have a healthy relationship. Now, my little sister is not my sister by blood. My adopted little sister. I've known her since she was three. Looked out for her since she was three. And did my and did, and did my best to make to, to kind of guy to kind of be the, a, a decent older brother. Now, because well, we've known. We've, my sister, my, my older sister has known her boyfriend since my adopted little sister was three. And the adopted little sister is my, is my older sister's boyfriend's sister. Now, Miss D got this friend request from North Carolina. Tell me how this individual... Managed to take a car, drive it all the way up to Pencil to Pennsylvania, to the southwestern portion of Pennsylvania. In or around the Allegheny County area. In around the in around the Allegheny County area. Now Explain this to me. This child drove, 17 year old child, drove to meet another 17 year old child who's still, they're both still, he's still in school, right? Staying in Miss D's mother's house. The only reason he got kicked out was because Miss D's mother caught them fornicating. So, we don't know the complete story on what's going on. So, this dude has a car, comes down, comes, comes to my house, of course, I'm not home. I'm in behind, I'm in the road and behind the wheel of a semi-truck. I'm not home. So they pump up an air mattress, he stays in the basement, you know, and yada, yada, yada. Riddle me this. The cops run the plates to the car. The car is stolen. They t this dude takes off running and gets into a wreck. It's 
so glad I wasn't home. But what makes it worse is Miss D. <laughs> not only has basically has been dickmatized. And but prior to him has three other dudes up in her at the age of 17. Now I got a rule I got a rule against sleeping or sleeping in the same building as uh, as Johnson as, jo as Johnny on the spot hypnotize people. I don't. I'll sleep in the car. I'll, I got two bed. I two, got two bunk beds in my truck. I have a rule that I do not sleep with sleep around in the same building. I do not sleep in the same building with people who are rooster hungry. Who are rooster hungry and want to and, and enjoy riding a rooster carousel. Especially if they're underaged. If, you know, now, a little backstory on uh, Miss D is Miss D was raised in a single parent household. Can you guess what? Can you guess what parent it was? Dear old mama dearest, Miss D is now, is rumored to be pregnant, to be a pregger. Miss D is rumored to be a pregger. And they don't know who the daddy they don't know who dear old daddy is. I guess it runs in a family, huh? Single parents, mama dears ain't don't know who the daddy is. Now that now daughter dears ain't got don't know who the daddy is. The child's seventeen years old. The child ain't even get the ain't even got the simulac from behind her ears cleaned out. This the same crap that McTow talks about day in, day out. You remove the father from home, you're basically welcoming drama into the household. It doesn't matter if you say, oh, I raised you, right? It don't matter. It doesn't matter. The rule stands that if this child is in the area, she takes her friend with her. If this child spends the night at the t at the at the house, I sleep in somewhere else, outside of the home. I don't care. I've seen crazier stuff, and I'm not getting in the middle of it. I'm not getting myself set up. Why do I try to take some drastic measures? If a person I served with got hemmed up. And I ain't getting hemmed up. Self-protective measures. But, uh, I just figured I want to share this video. <laughs> I just want to, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. So, I mean, when I get home, I'm hoping to find out a little bit more. But, it's what it is. This is McTown Wynn signing off.